Roll, Sam. Set. Action. Tate and I grew up together in Jackson, Mississippi, and I was always writing stories in my head. I think Tate was always filming stories in his head. And there was a creative competitiveness between us. One day she said, I'm gonna write a book. More than anything, I wanted to write a book about the relationships between black and white women in Jackson, Mississippi in 1963. I'm doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. It's something that hadn't been written that much about. I heard what y'all was up to. You two give me heart palpitations. Kitty and I became best friends after we met up. She told me she was writing a novel, and I rolled my eyes and smiled. Oh, great. She was really discouraged. No one wanted to publish it. She couldn't even get an agent. Every rejection letter was a cattle prod that just pushed me further. But yet I couldn't fight the urge and the longing to write the story. She finally let me read it. And I said, this is going to be a great movie. She said, all right, let's do it. All right, I'm going to do it. We all are. Mm -hmm. I got to come up with your questions, too? Oh. <laughs> it happened fast. I still don't think I've sat and really processed it. Good. And it was like a dream come true. The pressure of casting the movie came from many areas. I wanted to do the movie justice. I felt all the millions of book readers sitting on my shoulder. Each of the characters are so easy to fall in love with. Abeline, you just want her to wrap you in her arms. Minnie is so strong and so hilarious. Put Mom in a chair before she breaks a hip. Give me, Lord, but I'm gonna have to kill that woman, Abeline. <laughs> Skeeter is vulnerable and is learning with you as an audience. I think that these women have been voiceless and faceless for too long. Catherine Stockett and Tate Taylor, they've given them a voice. Y'all two brought me into this, but I'm gonna finish it. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am. But you about to. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>